Now see that teaser pack almost like an arrow at the front there. Pulling together and starting out the race with a great pace. They'll be running with a five pin this morning. Not going to stay tall more than the first pickle cross country race. Don't have that in the Here they come down the hill, they'll increase their speed as they allow their legs to just roll down the downhill. They head all the way around the rugby field here. Some of you are taking the runners at the front. They'll be talking to each other throughout the race and uh, encouraging each other, making sure they're relaxed, making sure they have a nice free pack in front of them, and hopefully running their best race ever. So coming onto the track here, they're running about four minutes, and we'll see what their first mile spread is here. They have a five k which is equivalent to 3.2 miles. The second lap will be very important, especially mentally. That second lap is when the fatigue starts to set in, and that's when they're really wanna, gonna wanna focus and get to work. So welcome to the BYU Cougars, but they're also Cheers from the crowd is an absolutely pivotal part to their success. So put your hands together as they come by. For the first lap here, we have Aubrey and Lexi leading the pack. Jenna is in there. Sadie is running in the back unattached. JC, that 12 runner there in the middle of the pack. Tate Galil and then Tinsky, Carmen Alder, Grace, and Carly. And then you'll see that strong second pack of Cougars running together there as well. A couple of the Salt Lake runners coming through now. BYU did a good job trying to hang on there for this second lap. to all our Cougars from those athletes from Westminster College as well as Salt Lake Community College. Really hey, look at you. to get to work here look as you look. start out look. on the second lap. But again, our leaders, Aubrey Frenthway, Lexi Halliday, Laura, Carmen Elder, and Jenna Hutchins. Attack the hill, attack the hill. Okay. couple of stats. She is a sophomore 
and an under 20 national champion. Her PR of 5,000 meters is 1534. So absolutely blazing past there by Jenna Hutchins. She has a great 5,000 meter PR. We also have Carla Elder in that top group. She went ninth at the very competitive West Coast race last year. And both her girls actually ran for the So she has a strong ties to the BYU running Come on, tradition. Yeah, Molly! She was part of the 2020-2021 team that won the national championship. Throws them all in one race. So to finish top 15 at the national championships is an absolutely incredible performance. Let's see them as they come down the hill. They'll be entering the track for the final time. This will be the finish here. You can see. Jenna Hutchins, uh, first place overall, very close there with Carmen. Tell me what it was like running up there with a pack of three or four girls up there at the front. I love this team and I love being with them, so I feel like just the opportunity to toe the line, to toe the line today and be with them was, was something incredible. I feel like we have a really great chemistry this year and we're really excited for what's to come, but this is a great meet to kick it off and get a good 
hard effort into my tennis. Okay, well you're doing fantastic right now. Had a good track season as well. Of course, uh, we all know about your high school career, setting a 5K national record. Uh, but then senior year was a little bit rough, had some injuries, other things you were dealing with it. How does it feel to be healthy now and kind of running really well? Yeah, it's incredible. I can only thank this team and Coach Taylor for all that. It takes a lot of patience to help someone that's been in high school and to be a great college. So I'm just really grateful for her patience and my time here so far. Freshman year was for sure rough for me. I feel like there was a lot of downs, but there was a lot that kept me hopeful. So this year I'm just really grateful and excited to be here. Okay, thanks Jenna. Thank Thank you. Carmen Alder, junior year. Tell me about uh, going into your junior year running for BYU. Um, it's so exciting. My sister Vanessa is on the team. She's a freshman, so I'm super excited to be running with her. We've got a really good group this year. That's fantastic. And so what does that mean, like running? You've got a sister now on the team. Uh, and she just moved in. Uh, when, did she come for the summer, or did she just get here? Uh, okay, fantastic. So they were living in Germany. Yeah. Uh, do you live there as well? Tell me about running in the U.S. now, the competition here versus Germany. Um, in Germany this summer, I mostly ran with my sister, so that was really nice. And it feels amazing to be back in Utah. Okay. Well, good job. Super strong performance today. Second place overall. Okay, Aubrey. Well, good job today. Uh, tell me about how the race went. Okay, tell me about uh, the summer training. How did it go? How are you looking forward to this season? Um, it was good. Yeah, we just did the things we normally do, hit the base mileage, and we're just getting back into workouts. So it'll take a minute, but we'll get there. Okay, yeah. good job. Nice work. Okay, Vanessa Alder, freshman, here a couple weeks ago from Germany, uh, running in the U.S. now. Um, so definitely glad back in the U.S. It's really exciting to be BYU, BYU especially because that's been my dream for like so long. I used to tell people in middle school, like, I'm going to run with BYU one day. So it's like a real dream come true ever since I came here to the States and I started running football team. So I'm just so excited. Oh, fantastic. What does it mean running with your sister, Carmen, now? That's also really awesome. Um, we've always run together. She has been only two years apart. So I was at high school and even middle school. And it's like, it's so great because like, I feel like I'm not alone on the line. And like, no matter what happens, like I can always finish and I can come to her. And it's so great to congratulate each other and just be like, we did a good run. So it's just so awesome. Okay, well, way to go, Vanessa. <laughs> Okay, Carly Hansen, standout high school runner here in Utah, went to North Carolina for the first couple of years, is now starting junior year with the BYU squad and had a great race today. So tell me about that transition, Carly. Well, um, it really felt like, you know, I wanted to go after and get what I wanted out of my college career, which means different things to different people, but for me, I was like, I really want to be part of Coach Taylor's program, be trained by her and her tough workout she has. So I really was like ambitious and knew what I wanted. And so I made the jump. It was a little scary, but the transition has been good. The team is so nice to me and so kind. We just work our butts off, which is what's important to me. <laughs> okay, great. Coming into your junior year, tell me about your thoughts. Uh, a little bit more experience, bring kind of a different perspective to the team. Tell me about some of that starting your junior year. Yeah, it's wonderful. I loved my experience at UNC and it taught me a whole lot about how like to race and the mentality mentality to have and like the confidence. And even though I wasn't getting the times I wanted, I knew like going here, like if I apply those concepts, I really would succeed and I'm having high hopes for myself and this whole team. And I mean, I mean I'm glad that we didn't get ranked high because I like coming in as an underdog. <laughs> but I, I'm just excited for all of us and the program we have here and the ambition we have and workouts and everything. One of the iconic races I remember from your high school career was a state meet up at, uh, uh, I think it was up north, at, uh, it was a hot day and you cranked out I think a 447 mile by yourself and you're out on the track and just a gutsy race and uh, you know, so tell me about what it's like running with a lot of girls now. You're in a pack. Uh, you're one of the group instead of running by yourself. 
Yeah, it's definitely a shift. I, I learned that my first two years of college that like you run as a team and you run in a pack. Like I was totally different for me and I I still remember like my first like workout run back and I was like smiling ear to ear, like so happy to be running with other people. That's something I'd never experienced before. So I was just so excited to be a part of that. And that's something I also love here. Like it's such a great experience in college to be able to run with other girls and to go out in that race and be like, I know there's other people that love me, so. Yeah. Okay, great. Tell me about what it's like coming back up to altitude. Yeah, that was an adjustment. At first, I had a hard time breathing. <laughs> but, I mean, I know, like, training here is, like, really good. I could tell, like, showing up to races, like, the first few weeks back at UNC while I was training here over the summer and last year, I had the foot up on everyone else. And, like, I know, like, okay, as I train here all year round, I'm just going to have one extra thing up my leg, like, to really, like, get after it and, like, show to people what I can do. So. <laughs> okay, well, great job, Carly. Looking forward to this season. Thank you. I'm so happy. Jane and Isaac here. Uh, Jane, of course, running great at Timview High School right now. But coming to these kind of meets, what are some of your thoughts uh, just seeing some of these athletes out here today? Yeah, it's very exciting, and I'm proud of all of them. It's fun because I know quite a few of them, and it's super fun that I get to be able to cheer and support. Um, and proud of all of them. They all killed it today. And, um, it's inspiring as well for me to see how they're risking failure and really going for it. And so I'm hoping I'll be able to do the same once I start racing. Okay, great. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, G Taylor, uh, women's head coach, and fantastic showing today at this meet. Uh, tell me about uh, the season coming ahead and what are your thoughts on the team? Well, we just got back from a week in uh, Park City for training camp, and I love the team chemistry that we have right now. I think that's super important, and we had some good packing up front, a couple kids out because of COVID, so um, as soon as we get them back in the lineup, I'm, I'm really excited. We're young, but we are um, we're bonding really well and emotionally connected, and I think that's going to make a big difference in the latter part of the season. Okay, great. Tell me about um, your thoughts about the new conference. Any challenges and opportunities with the new conference? Yeah, I think when you can get into that championship mindset at the end of October versus waiting until November, it just prepares your mindset a little bit better. So I'm looking forward to that. I know the competition's going to be a little bit different than what we're used to in the WCC, but where we've always wanted to place well nationally, I think that is, is going to play in our favor because we've had kind of that competitive mindset all along. And I'm just looking forward to um, having my women get championship type racing a little bit earlier. Okay, great. Now, you had uh, just got back from Worlds uh, and in Budapest, and you had quite a few athletes, pro athletes you train now, Whitney, Anna, Courtney, uh, and they're just doing fantastic. Can, what, do you tell, what can you tell me about that extra dimension to your coaching now? We have kind of a professional group and then also the collegiate group. Yeah, I wasn't sure I ever wanted to coach pros. Um, and just having my own women come to me a couple years ago as they graduated opened up an opportunity for me and I think it's really helped me evolve as a coach and just put things into perspective. I've always been someone that doesn't want to sacrifice uh, long-term success for short-term gratification and when you coach pros you kind of understand the importance of making sure these women are doing the right thing so they have longevity in the sport and just the inspiration that the pros can bring to these collegiate women. I think it's been really good for, for us here at BYU. Oh, that's great, and it's a good sign that you know your athletes want to continue with you even after yeah, they finish. Yeah, so. I, I think it'll be good. Hopefully, good for recruiting too. Um, we're building something pretty special here, and I, I'm really proud of uh, how empowering these women are. And, and one of their main goals is to inspire other young girls in the sport, and that's something I'm really passionate about. So I'm really proud of what we stand for, and if we can do it while still being nationally relevant and dominant, then uh, I think I've done my job as a coach. Okay, great. Now. Just a question about the performance. The times have really dropped over the last couple of years. Better information, better equipment, better nutrition, understanding about sleep, all those things. The sport is so much more complex right now. It isn't just go out and run these kind of times. It's the full individual that you're developing. Can you say a little bit about how do you develop athletes considering all this new information, new equipment, all of that that's coming on the scene? 
Yeah, I think the physical part of the sport has taken huge leaps. Um, a lot of that is because of technology and rabbits and races and just better competition. You know, everyone's helping each other rise to a, a higher level. But then I think paying attention to the whole athlete, that is really important. And, and bringing in some of that mental and emotional and spiritual here at BYU, I think those three elements have been huge for the physical side of it. And I think if we continue to develop the whole athlete, you're going to see better performances because we're putting better, um, just better people on the line that are well-rounded. You mentioned team culture. You really like the team culture, how they work hard. What are some of the things that you do as a coach to develop that team culture? And what do you look for in athletes that want to join the team and the elements that they bring to the team culture? Yeah, I, wa I want to bring in women that, um, well, I always say little girls with dreams who become women with vision, right? That, that's what I want to see. And, and I'm super lucky that I get to start talking to girls at 16, 17. Uh, and then you get to see them at 22, 23 and the women that, they, that they've that they become. It's, it's a really big part of the process here at BYU. And I, uh, man, at cross country camp last week, just listening to my seniors um, give a devotional. Uh, we got seven women up there and they're talking about their journey. And it was just really a defining moment for me as a coach of, yeah, building the woman. That, that's what it's about, like creating strong women that are going to leave this sport and, and go be great in whatever community they end up entering. And uh, it's just, it's bigger than running. That's, that's what it's about here at BYU. Well, thank you so much, Jill G. Congratulations on today. Looking thank forward you. to this season. Yep, I'm excited.